by definition, is exotic and foreign and alien. Now, the Wahhabis play amazingly well. I'll give you another wonderful example. For years, this is from the time that I came to the United States, early 80s. Thanks to Wahhabi influence, as a jurist, I got sick and tired of listening or responding to Muslims that come and say, brother, listening to music is haram. You cannot listen to music. You cannot have this. You cannot have that. Ad nauseum. Now, let me tell you, this position, this Wahhabi position, was maintained for decades, decades. Listening to music is haram, leave alone singing or rapping, that's, you know, now, now you've got a one-way speed ticket to hell, right? Lo and behold, Salman decides that music is no longer haram. And Hosefi and others like Al Mashari, who are famous Quranic reciters, by the way, they recite the Quran. In, I don't like the recitation of the Quran because my ear is used to tab the tabakat system. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't like Saudi reciters of the Quran, I, I have to admit, but that's, uh, that's just something. Those reciters of the Quran sing songs praising Salman and the crown prince and exalting the virtues of Saudi. They turn from Quranic reciters, sworn, I have a volume this big, about 12 volumes of the fatawa, the responsa, telling me that all music is haram, all dancing is haram, everything is haram, 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 and an instant like that, in an instant, overnight, not only is it not haram anymore, but they're actually performing songs, writing songs and writing music and performing. That is Wahhabism. For Muslims, the danger of Wahhabism is not because they're going to commit terrorist attacks. Terrorism has a whole ideological lineage that you can find rooted in the nihilist movement in Russia, in the early Russian uh, terror campaigns, and the early terrorists in France that belong to the anarchist movement, and, and so on and so forth. A lot of these three, the ideologies of those who blow themselves up and revel in the orgy of violence and blood goes back to the French anarchist and the Russian anarchist and the type of imagery that they created. But the risk of Wahhabism for Muslims is that it suffocates the hell out of us. And it makes us a subjugated, racially inferior people. 